How to create an interactive PDF flipbook ebook step by step. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I will show to you how you can make your ebook look like this. This can make your ebook look more interactive to your reader. So whenever I click here, it will turn to the next page like you are just reading a real book online. It can view like this on the desktop devices or on any mobile devices. And one more thing is you can also embed your videos here, like your YouTube videos, for example. So to make this, we just need to use two software. So the first one is Canva for our design. And the second one is the Heisen or Hazen. Both platforms have their own free plan. So there is no need for you to worry about the monthly subscriptions. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we need to open our Canva. So go to canva.com because it's where we can do our designs for the online book. So I am now here inside my Canva account. And by the way, if you don't have any account yet here on Canva, there is no need for you to worry because you can simply create a Canva account using your email like Gmail, like your Outlook email or any other email. So I will go ahead and proceed of making our design for the book. So you can search here book for a book layout so they have different book layout here that you can uh, select from or you can also create your own design or customize your own design so custom size here and you can create your own size but i already have one here so let me just uh, make use of this one so this will be the design that we will be using to make it like a flip book so let me wait for it so here's the design here so as you can see we have 23 pages here so i will just make use of this one but you can um, make your own design to every page here if you like to but for today i will not gonna show you how to do a design for every page because that take a lot of time so to make this video short i will just go ahead and make use of the template pages here so i will go ahead and go to the next step so the next step here is go to share so you click over here the share on the right side corner and here just go here click more and then search for the hazen so here is the Hizen flip books. So just click on it and you need to connect your Hizen account here. And that's okay if you don't have a Hizen account. However, if you didn't have a Hizen account, then your file will be deleted. Like after a week, it will not be saved in the Hizen since you didn't have an account created. But if you have an account created, then it will save in your account. So I will go ahead and click use here and let's wait and here we need to save. So as you can see here, we can save 10 pages, but let me go ahead and select all pages here. So I will go ahead and click done. So it may take some time to save all the pages here since we have 23 pages. So just bear with me for a moment. Alright, so your design has been saved. So now it's ready for the next step. So let's go ahead and click view in Hazen Flipbook. So I will go ahead and click this one and wait for the process. Alright, so here is the Hazen software now. So welcome to Hazen. So let me just close this one. So here is our design. So it's still loading. So let's just wait until it shows the clear image. So it may take some time for this one to save since we have a lot of pages here. So as you can see here, it's now starting to become a flip book. So as you can see when I move the mouse and it also has a sound effect, which is really good. 
So whenever you click this one, it will go to the other page as you can see. Or you can double click this one. So it's still loading, so go back. And here you can also um, embed your own videos like what I said earlier. You can embed your own YouTube videos here and it can be also play inside this book. And here on your left side corner is your editing tab. So you have different tab here to edit your flip book. So you can change the title over here and the description. So let me go ahead and try to enter the title here. Let's see if oh, it will show up here, up here. So you also have your page effects. So you can also change the effect of your uh, page. Sound on page turn. You can also turn this one off if you like to. You can also remove the page shadow like this one here. As you can see, there's a shadow here. If you want to remove it, you can remove it, but I don't want to because it looks realistic if there is a shadow, right? As you can see. So you also have your show page depth here. The, yes, this one here. You can see the next page. And also center when single page. Yes. So let's just keep all of this here. And you can also set up your own background this is the background here so you can change the background like for example the yellow one so it will change here you can also do this let me choose this one i like this okay i will keep this one if you like to as you can see there is a white over here i can also change it to black to be look like this or this one this one or this one let me just keep the white one and also you have your style here transparency and the blur let me apply the blur here okay i will keep this one let's just close it you can also add your own logo here but it's only available to premium plan so you need to create an account and purchase the premium plan for you to add your own logo so let me just skip this you also have your control panel here and the pagination bar hidden okay so that's how I'm not so sure about this one, so let me just keep it as hidden. And also you have your background audio here. You can also insert your own background audio if you want to. And here also you have your interaction. As I mentioned earlier that you can also embed or attach some link, image, video, audio, or web inside your flipbook. So if you want to save this, then just go here, here at the top left side corner, you have your save option. So just click save to save your file. This is like a PDF file. Uh, other can view this one as well. You just need to share it. So you have your link here. Uh, this is what you can share to other people, the link, or you can send it to email. So whenever you open the link, for example, this one, this will be what it looks like. So you have your test PDF file here since that is what we name it. So this is how other people can view the file. So I guess that's all for today's video and I hope you learned something today. And if you have any question, guys, just comment down below and thank you so much for watching.